What the, what, what the f are you talking about? It's possibly the world's leading quote of the confused rational person. So let's assume this very uh, darkly shaded individual here is you. And you're chilling at your local bar or Alpha Sigma something frat party. I don't I don't know your living room. Wherever um unreasonable people can be found. And through your search for social stimulation, you meet this guy. And have a conversation. <laughs> yeah. And the whole thing was like on some real around the world in 80 days type stuff. Yeah, well, you know, that's just an expression though. Yeah, sure. You could probably travel the world in like three days. No, no, no. Like planes would go into space if the earth was round. What? <laughs> the earth is flat. What the f are you talking about? See, not, not there it is. You try to be reasonable, but they start talking over you. They're getting a little loud. The vibe's starting to flip from mild disagreement to 2016 presidential debates. You didn't you didn't do 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 okay, so let's pause uh, our hypothetical here. If I were to ask you, how do you argue with this person? What would you say? Uh, if I were a betting man, I think most of you would say I wouldn't. Mostly because I value my time, sanity, and I don't hate myself. And on paper, you'd be right. But listen, come, come closer. That's that's the thing about the paper, though. It's it's f paper. See, look, I just tore it in half. It's not real. No, I never entertain such unruly behavior. Stop, stop, no, no, stop it. Sometimes you just find yourself entertaining someone who treats idea exchange like a terms of service page. But here's my logic to all that. I say, if you're gonna judge Judy with the worst person ever for 20 minutes, troll the f out of him. Example, like say you and the guy are talking about why drinking tap water is not the same as regular water. I don't know. No, but really though, in my eyes, it is just as bad as driving to the state of Louisiana and putting your lips directly to Lake Martin. And I want you to hit them with, and I quote. Well, according to the Douglas liquidity scale, only like 75% of water is actually wet. Like 25% like is considered hard or rough. Is that a real fact? No, I, I, I got that from a Jax Films video. But don't tell me it wouldn't be super satisfying to just look at their face as they take that fact for truth. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kurt, why should I take the petty route? It seems childish and unnecessary. Let me uh, logic this a bit for you. Knowing that A, this person is not going to be rational no matter what you throw at them, and B, you don't know how to not exploit someone who doesn't know how to use commas in real life. I say don't make this a bad experience. You're going to find yourself entertaining someone with Helen Keller level listening skills. So instead of hating yourself for having to be there, make them hate themselves for having wasted your time. But really, next time you're in an argument with someone, say random sea creatures in the middle of your sentences, and I guarantee you'll be satisfied. Maybe you should start looking at Google Earth before you start Orca Well telling people the Earth is flat. You're basically doing the community a service. So yeah, just be petty. Or learn to walk away, but who needs that? But hey, that's just my opinion. So let's ask the public. How do you argue with an unreasonable person? Don't. You can't. <laughs> you can't argue. See, I feel like that's a simple answer, but I guarantee you have. Keep talking and talking and talking and talking. And hopefully they're gonna fuck up. <laughs> and that's when you intervene like, yes, aha. Like, <laughs> make sure you make them sound as stupid as possible. Damn, that's really disrespectful. Yeah, you, got, you gotta disrespect them. Cause they're, they're disrespecting you. My boyfriend is unreasonable. It usually just ends up one of us ignoring somebody else for like two hours. <laughs> so we don't argue then. Point A was fucked up. So it's his fault the whole time. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Point B was fucked up. So I asked him, where, where's the source? Boom, if they don't have a source, it's over. So you basically setting alley-oops to yourself. A lot of screaming and yelling then. <laughs> Usually him going on a walk or something to blow some steam. It's so bad he gotta go on a walk. Yeah. What do you be saying to him? Uh. <laughs> Nothing good. If it is an unreasonable person, then you're just, Stirring the waters by continuing the argument. So you're, you're just doing it to just be an asshole. Right? This is an you're exhibition just, match? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just, you're just for fun. For fun, yeah. So if you're getting hit with jabs that you know you're getting up with, you really don't want to respond. So, all right, Ali. Hey, hey, don't, don't, don't close the video yet. Don't close the video yet. What's up, y'all? Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below how to argue with, uh, you know, people such as this. And don't forget to turn on notifications. Hit that notification bell. Mucho importante. Oh, yeah, and I've been given the chance to go to VidCon just as, like, a, a person that'll walk around and whatnot. I also live streamed for the first time, like, a couple days ago. So I was thinking about doing that again on Sunday. And I'm also hoping to post a video on that Sunday as well. So, 
come to the live stream. It'll probably be Sunday evening, uh, Eastern evening. It's a, I'll probably treat it like a Q and A. So if you guys have any questions for me, go ahead and do it. But it's a little informal thing, you know, just to have some fun and we can, you know, get to know each other over some nice stuff. I don't know where I'm going with this. But hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'm out. Peace.